process of these sculptures starts by collecting. Um, I drive out to the coast. I put a very large camping bag on my back. I hike in. And then I walk. And then I put things in the bag until the bag's too heavy. When it gets warm enough, um, this is like the best time of the year. In the summer, I can collect like a little fucking squirrel. And then in the winter, I have the reserve. On the days that are the best, it's literally just wandering, looking for what strikes my eye as beautiful. You know, if I'm having a day where I feel very grateful uh, for being there, my eyes tend to open a lot wider. See, so, uh, that part of a seal, probably. Look at that. That is a thigh. Seal shoulder blade, like a butterfly wing. That's where seal teeth used to be, or sea lion. What I pick up now is very different from what I used to pick up. The ocean salt wood tends to stay like very dried out and very hard, and what's left is the hardest part of the wood. And the, uh, the like pointless part of the wood get knocked off by the waves, and so what you're left with is like the, uh, the real wood underneath the um, filler wood that just kind of takes up space on the outside. Like the real thought underneath the bullshit that trails through our mind all the time. Once I fill a camping bag, drive it back, I dump it out on the floor. I'll cut the large pieces off, I'll break them, I'll chop an end off, I'll take a smaller knife and I'll start whittling parts of it. Sometimes the piece is perfect all on its own and all I do is begin the process of sanding for hours and hours and hours. Use the most meticulous, uh, precise uh, technician of any artist that I've ever been able to work with. I've literally walked in on him at noon and seen him sanding a piece of wood, and burnishing it, and doing whatever, and then come back four hours later and, and he's still working on that same piece. It can take between one and four hours to sand each piece hundreds of pieces being put together. Um, it takes quite a while. All those other pieces are working towards things like this. This one here took about 10 months from beginning to end. How the final piece looks um, is almost impossible to determine. Each added bit of material, as it builds on the previous ones, it will kind of determine where it's gonna go. I think there's a part of all of us, and Brenton included, is that the, you know, part of it is, is checking the board, you know, what's the score on the board. Even if he sold that man for $20,000, probably making a nickel an hour.